Hey everyone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many players are facing with Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut on PC, the fail to initialize the PlayStation PC SDK error. If you're stuck and can't launch the game, don't worry. I've got a few solutions that can help you get back to playing. Let's go through them step by step. Solution 1. Run PSPC SDK Runtime Installer. MCR first solution involves running the PSPC SDK underscore runtime installer. MC file. Here's how to do it go to your Steam library. Right click on Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut and select Properties. Click on the Installed Files tab. Click on Browse to open the game's installation directory. Locate the PSPC SDK underscore runtime installer. MC file and double click to run it. Navigate to seek colon backslash program data backslash Sony Interactive Entertainment Incorporated backslash PSPC underscore SDK backslash S22 backslash 2.13.00.01. Find and run the file spxcpmgr.exe. If you're having trouble finding the file, use Windows Explorer and enter the path C colon backslash program data backslash Sony Interactive Entertainment Incorporated backslash PSPC underscore SDK backslash S22 backslash 2.13.00.01 directly. Solution 2, delete the Sony Interactive Entertainment Incorporated folder. If the first solution didn't work, let's try deleting a specific folder. Go to C colon backslash program data backslash Sony Interactive Entertainment Incorporated. Delete the entire Sony Interactive Entertainment Incorporated folder. Try launching Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut again. Solution 3, open the PSN website and sign in. The last fix involves syncing your PlayStation Network account. Go to the official PlayStation Network website. Log into your PSN account. After signing in, try launching the game. This might sync your account and resolve the initialization error. And there you have it. Three potential fixes for the failed to initialize the PlayStation PC SDK error in Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more gaming tips and troubleshooting guides. Let me know in the comments if these solutions worked for you or if you have any other fixes.